tonight's main event. Mark Larry, Charles in charge. No, 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 you don't well, get to come stay. in this tight. Well, you don't get to come around. Yeah, listen, this That's is how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be dumb, lock, the, lock up the right dumb. Right there, you don't get to come around. Right, right. You don't, get, get, Wait a minute. Get you straight. Get but straight. Why you just move that way What do you mean? I'm straight. You no, straight you're right not. If I'm like straight. this, look at you. Your angle no, goes like this, and mine go right here. No, now we're like this. Mine get him right. Okay? No, you already at an angle. Stop it. Where? He's making up his own rules. What do you mean? Right like that. See, get your arms straight. Oh, boy. My shoulders are straight. And arms, too. Why you grab my thumb already? All right. Okay. Here we go. You need to, you, you get. Here. For the championship. Oh, no, no, no. Why? You know he's going to tell you. Hey. I haven't moved anything. <laughs> Don't go yet. I'm closing up. Close it up. Why are you saying go? Look bro. at him. Come on. <laughs> Hold on. Will, Hold on. look, look, look. I didn't do, look, I didn't look. move my, look. I did not move look. it. Did you see <laughs> that? He's straight. Oh, man. Look. Do you yeah. see that? Look at it. Turn your yeah. hand loose then. Turn your hand loose. That's it? how you got. Don't try to pull me towards you. <laughs> Look at the angle. Oh, oh man. You got longer angle? <laughs> no, it's shorter, yeah, which like... means you're in tight. Okay. Oh, well, boy. Your, oh, boy. Oh, Here we go. Move it up. Move your arm. He's got a good spread going. Here we go. Here we go. For a diesel truck, a brand new diesel yeah, truck. Look at Here we go. Here we go. Look at you, man. Oh, man. That's because I squeezed my arm. No, you got it. Right there, right there. So, what is that? What is that? Oh man, this is back. gonna be all night. This is gonna take all night. Come on, William. Get there. Show us. Show him how it's done. Hurry. Here we go. What are you doing? You gotta hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let go. Let him go. But I didn't start going. I don't think this is gonna happen today. Wait, Will. No, 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 no. Wait. Wait, Will. It looks even. It looks even. No, Will. All right. Mark, All right. Go ahead and get your grip, cause I know you're gonna say something. You got Ooh. it. I got it. Put him in a body bag. So, Mark, still doing on, the same right? shit. Go, he's doing the same. Look, he, he's Come already on. got the advantage. Here we go. Here we go. Get, like, this is it. No, this is it. Look at you. You already teased. I am straight. Look at my angle. It's not gonna happen. Here we go. Here we go. This is it. Go, go, go. Oh! Oh! It didn't happen. Mark. Mark, what the hell just happened? Damn! He cheated. You know he cheated. Okay? Look at me. Look at me. Look at... Look at... No, it was the left. Was it the left? It was the left. Look at me. That would probably look small. It's gonna be bigger and better for you guys. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Mark of All Trades. That's right. And <laughs> listen, I don't want all of you to lose faith or confidence in me, okay? Because I have to explain myself. I didn't even try, okay? We arm wrestled again after that, but my friend who was recording didn't record that part. He wanted to record the part. It's like propaganda, okay? He wanted to record the part that looked good for for charles okay the old man and by the way he's an ohio state fan oh sorry the ohio state but guys but anyway yeah i didn't even try you really think that that man charles because it just wrestled me down just so effortlessly without me like it without it just looked like i didn't even try come on people be smart use common sense common science common sense he cheated all right if any of you watch arm wrestling, WAL, national arm wrestling, whatever, arm fight, arm bet, Invicta, whatever, okay? I'm getting into arm wrestling now, and I know, I guess, from the starting position, you got to have shoulder square, okay? And Devin Larry, it's one of my favorite arm wrestlers. You know, he's always fighting and running his mouth and jockeying for position, but sometimes you have to, right? Sometimes you have to be your own lawyer and, and get the judge's attention or get the ref's attention, and it's like, look, every little inch of your elbow, every little angle, every little thing matters. It really does. I mean, that's kind of what that beginning part of arm wrestling seems to be about is just jockeying for leverage, jockeying for position. And I mean, it would be, I guess, fair or cool if like both competitors could just absolutely remain still until the referee let go and said go. But I mean, that would kind of make the sport boring, I guess. 
And so it's kind of just building up the hype right there. So that was what I was doing. I was kind of taking a page from Devin Laird's book in the beginning there where I'm just talking trash and doing things like that. But I'm going to do that again. So I will go ahead and fill you in because it wasn't recorded. We are on Russell the second time. Now, Charles, from the very, very start, he beat me with, with my right. Okay, he beat me on the right. Then I did a little bit of training. We arm wrestled at the supervisor's desk. Okay, this old just desk, right? Not even, we weren't even standing up. We were sitting down and we arm wrestled old school. So we locked up our arms and then we kind of grabbed the opposite hand. I, I grabbed his left hand with my left hand and we cupped and pulled like that for leverage. And I went into that one with no confidence at all. I'm like, damn, he's gonna destroy me. And then we said, go, and I'm like, I feel his resistance, I feel him, but then I'm like, is he toying with me? Is he toying with me? And then he started coming towards my way, and I'm like, wait a minute, what's going on? Now, in the, in the gym, I had been working out side pressure, right, this muscle right here, because I thought arm wrestling was all about that, but I learned a little bit more. But anyway, in that one, and I worked side pressure, and I started climbing. I started climbing the top of his hand to try to get higher with my fingers, and that's exactly what I did. The beginning, we were both kind of at a stalemate, and it allowed me to be like, oh crap, I gotta attack his fingers, attack his fingers. That's what I did. And I almost had him, but I looked at him, and I saw his eye, like, I, like the title said, Charles is 66 years old, okay? I didn't want him to pass out or have a hernia or something from an arm wrestling match, so, when I looked at him, I was like, ooh, this guy, I like lit up some and then he came back and pinned me. Now in the video, okay, he he's obviously amped up, he's hyped up. Now that was with our right hands. The video is with our left hands. My left's not my strong one, but it has gotten stronger in the last couple of weeks because I've been training for Charles. I'm gonna get you, Charles. And I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I've even uh, signed up for Armbet, Devin Larrett's app. Shout out to Devin Larrett up in Ottawa, Ottawa High, hookers. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna look to do some arm wrestling training. Um, Cause I wanna use all this strength that I'm gonna acquire in the gym. Not, my goal is not to be the strongest man in the world, but it's to develop, it's to be a better mover, to be a better multi-planner moving human and then express all that strength in the gym through movement, through sport, through something, right? So arm wrestling seems to be a great outlet, but I have no shame. I know that you all haven't lost faith in me and you're taking me for my word when I say when he pinned me in the video, I wasn't even trying because I was so fed up that, you know when you're so fed up, you're not even mad anymore, you just give in, you just give up, right? He's a senior citizen, I'm sure he gets his way at IHOP, I'm sure they gave him an extra pancake when they know they gave him two, but he probably takes one and slides it under his book bag or something like that, right? Who knows, but anyway, Charles, I'm coming for you. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And I, the takeaway from this is that, look, if someone's cheating, if they're trying to get the upper hand on you, get the advantage on you in a sporting event, in a life event, work, business, wherever, it's okay to fight for what you believe in. It's okay to fight for your position so that you have the upper hand or that it's at least equal, okay? And then the alternative to that is be so good that it doesn't matter if they cheat. It doesn't matter if they have the advantage. Tell that to Marion Jones. Anyway, this has been Marco of All Trades, bringing you another video, encouraging all of you to take up as many trades as you want, develop them, hone them, master them, because a jack of all trades is a master of none, but oftentimes better than a master of one. Out.